Welcome back. We are taking a week-long look at Vietnam's capital through the eyes of people who live there. We call the series Hanoi POV. And today we meet Donna Bermel, who moved to Hanoi as a lecturer for the London College for Design and Fashion. and I'm the founder of Oak Culture Fashion Blog and also Textile Tours. I've been living in Vietnam for the past four years. Poang Kim Lake is an important focal point in Hanoi. And it's, that's what makes Hanoi a really nice city to live in, actually, because you get the space from the lake. So although it's very densely packed and it's like very intense at times because you're always never too far away from a lake to kind of take a seat and have a little walk around and just kind of breathe in the space. <laughs> yeah. I came to the Vietnamese Women's Museum for the first time probably within like the first three months of me getting to Hanoi. I think I've been here maybe about seven or eight times at least, maybe more. It's all about women in Vietnam and how women are really held up in society as like being the backbone of Vietnamese culture. We've got an outfit here by the Lao people. They do the design from the back of the cloth, so they weave the, the design without being able to actually see it. So this is a really amazing technique, a very complicated, very sophisticated technique. This is the traditional Vietnamese kin Aozai. Vietnamese women still wear this a lot. You're completely covered up, something very elegant about it, very like classically beautiful about wearing an outside. It's really, yeah, you feel really, really feminine and lovely when you wear one. I think Hanoi is a very special city. It still retains a lot of its authenticity, even though it balances out with like kind of contemporary and, and modern developments as well. Vietnamese people are very true to themselves and the, the culture is still very strong. Uh, and so I think Hanoi is a, a, really, a really special city. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to show you my interview with NATO Secretary General, but we will bring that interview to you on 